Hi, I'm Greg Perkins with Oak Ridge Bellows. I don't want you to have failures on your expansion joints because you have acids condensating on the inside. Let me show you. I'm going to give you a demonstration. I'm spraying this bellows with liquid nitrogen. I'm going to do that because I'm going to give a condensate demonstration here in just one second. A lot of uh, end users have in power plants or in fineries have bellows that operate at a very high temperature and so what they'll do is they'll pack insulation on the inside of that to drive the temperature of that bellows back down but sometimes that causes those bellows to operate too cool. They'll operate under 300 degrees and the flue gases and things nasty stuff like that will condensate on the inside. So I'm, I'm going to give this demonstration. I've sprayed this with liquid nitrogen. This section of the bellows is very cool. I'm going to take an iron and I'm going to induce steam. Yes, I ironed some of my uh, clothes and no, I don't want to talk about it. And so I'm going to introduce steam on the inside of this and as I do that, look at the uh, droplets that form here. This is this is uh, just that steam just hitting that cold bellows and then condensing. And that's exactly what happens in your flue gas lines. You're going to have, uh, but it's going to be acids that are going to condense on the inside of that. You don't want that. So what you want to do about that is you want to add additional insulation to the outside of the bellows. Drive that bellows temperature back up. Get it above 300 degrees or even 400 degrees. You're still going to want to keep that below six or 700 degrees. You can do that with temperature probe. And that's going to keep you from having problems corrosion-wise. Uh, if you want more tips, you can join us at oakridgebellows.com.